What's up guys? It's your girl, Nicole Young, and I am back with another video. So, learning to code is an increasingly sought after skill, and with everything that's going on in the world today, from all of the global pandemics happening, and the state of the economy, and even the increased need to work from home, I bet that you are wondering how you can start learning how to code for free so that you can make that career shift and start making money ASAP. Well, today I got you. I started this channel for the very purpose of showing people that learning how to code is way more accessible than we may think, especially those of us who are in black communities, communities of color, women. A lot of us are made to feel like we aren't capable, that we aren't meant to be there, and that we don't fit in, and that we wouldn't be able to do it, but I'm here to show you guys that it is 100% possible. I've done it. So, today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 of my personal favorite places that I have used to learn coding skills and development skills for absolutely free. They are ones that you can look at right now. So. Get your laptops out, make sure you're ready to start bookmarking these, and watch until the very end because you may be a little surprised by some of the ones I have on this list. So the first thing on my list is Codecademy. If you've started on Codecademy learning any tech skills, you're doing great, sweetie. This is a great place to start, and I know it's a super popular resource to get your feet wet and start figuring out if coding is right for you. I think Codecademy is a great place to set a solid foundation that you can build off of with other courses and other resources as you advance in your skills. The next site is edX. So did you know that there are a ton of colleges and universities, some of the top universities in the country and in the world, offer some of their courses online for free through websites like edX. It's amazing. I have so many courses that I haven't even taken yet that I'm excited to dig into on edX because they are sometimes introductory courses or on topics in computer science, data science, analytics, algorithms, all types of things that are super interesting and there are really great courses that you can use to learn coding skills, whether your language is Python or SQL or JavaScript. There are tons of awesome courses on there offered from Ivy League schools, awesome universities in and around the world. Can you tell I really like it? The next one is one that I'm pretty sure you're hip to because you're watching this video right now. That's YouTube. Now, I made a video not too long ago about the seven channels on YouTube that I really enjoy for learning hard technical skills. These are channels that offer projects and um, actual tutorials on le and lessons on how to learn certain coding skills and development skills. So definitely make sure you go check that video out, go subscribe to those channels and get to learning. Next is Coursera. Coursera is a website that I have been using for years now, but as I started to gear my attention towards coding and learning development, it also proved to be very useful in that way as well. The setup is sometimes similar where there are universities who offer courses through Coursera that you can find. And one thing that's cool about Coursera is that you can take these courses and then they also offer uh, certifications along with them that you can then pay a little extra for. Um, so you can take the course for free, then pay for the certification if you want it or really need it. What's better than that? Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly interrupt to let you know that there is a free download in the description of this video where I break down my favorite places for learning how to code for free, links included, and some of them weren't even mentioned in this video. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because in the next video, I am breaking down some of my most favorite paid courses that I have taken for learning how to code. 
and letting you know which ones I think were the most affordable and the most worth the money. All right, let's get back to it. Next is one of my personal favorites and that is Free Code Camp. Free Code Camp is one of the YouTube channels that I had mentioned on the YouTube channel's video that I just mentioned, but freecodecamp.org is a great place to go if you are interested in learning anything from JavaScript to algorithms, APIs, information security, even interview prep is on there and it's all free you can just go through the coursework that they have on there there's like a full curriculum that you can go through on each of the topics so definitely take advantage of that i think free code camp is a little slept on make sure you go bookmark it and start learning next is khan academy so khan academy is one that a lot of people tell me they used as kids when they were growing up so i definitely think that if you are a parent or if you have kids around you or in the household that you want to teach these skills, something I highly recommend. I definitely think that Khan Academy is a great place to get them started on it. This is a very kid-friendly site, but I also have tons of uh, courses in programming and computer science, and even entrepreneurship that I have bookmarks on my Khan Academy dashboard that have been really helpful in learning things like JavaScript and understanding deeper into data science and things like that. So I definitely think if you are a family person, if you have kids in the household, this is definitely one that you all could be using to learn together. So next are a couple of ones that I think are really slept on. These aren't websites that offer courses, but rather websites that you should definitely be using as resources to learn as you are building these skills. So the first is W3 Schools. If you are someone that's interested in development, particularly front-end development, I highly recommend that you start using W3 Schools as a resource. As you get your hands to coding and building websites and building different things, W3 Schools is going to be a great resource for you to figure out different functionalities that you can use to make your sites awesome, functional, and beautiful. Definitely make sure you have it bookmarked and saved so that you can use it as a reference and a guide as you're learning and building. The next is CSS Tricks. Now CSS, I know it's a big debate on if it's a language or if it's not a language or whatever, but if you are someone that's interested in front-end development um, or just getting started learning, I think it's really important to understand how powerful HTML and CSS are. And one place that always amazes me to find out just the sheer power that CSS has to style what beautiful websites and amazing things um, is CSS Tricks. So I have learned so many cool things on how to make my sites look more modern, more trendy, more beautiful and functional through this website. So it's definitely one that I recommend that you keep bookmarked and you just look through and use as a reference as you are building and trying to figure out how to do different things. Because I swear everything that you could possibly know about CSS is on there. Next is one that I was introduced to when I was just getting started coding, like at the very beginning of my journey. And this was Automate the Boring Stuff with Python. It is a book, but it is available in an e-version online, just automateboringstuff.com. And it's geared towards people who may not necessarily want to learn how to code as a Career, but just want to know enough Python and enough code to be able to automate some of the everyday things in their life. And so even though I am focused on front-end development, I think it's awesome to know just a few scripts, just to automate some of the things that I do every day on my computer. Uh, just knowing a few Python scripts, I think it's really valuable. But I also recommend it a lot to people who say that they are interested in learning more about Python because I think that's a great introduction to the power of Python and its use in automation. The next is GitHub. So remember when I mentioned GitHub as a really powerful tool and a central tool for anyone who is learning how to code and just beginning? Well, there's a reason. <laughs> 
not just because it can help with version control and all the awesome things that I mentioned in that video, but also because the community on GitHub is an amazing place to learn new things. So I have found tons of awesome books, PDF versions of books and resources that I needed to learn or that I wanted to, to learn but just didn't want to buy. Um, so that's great. You can find tons of PDF versions of books on there. But you can also use the repositories and things that people have public on their profiles to then use them as a guide or a resource to build projects on your own. And it's a great way to like, you know, just learn by observing what other people are doing. You guys know I'm all about project-based learning, so I think using GitHub for that purpose is a great way to start learning. So what sites have you been using as you're learning how to code? Are there any ones that I didn't mention? Please make sure that you mention them down in the comments below. I think it would be a great way for other people who watch this video to also see what you all are using. But I hope this video proves to you that there are so many ways that you can learn how to code for free and to get started for free. In the next video, I'm going to be sharing all of my personal favorite online courses that are paid, the ones that are most affordable and the ones that I have found to be the most useful. So make sure you like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss it because I'm going to be sharing my reviews of some of the top rated online courses for learning how to code and giving you the breakdown of which ones are the most affordable. All right, I love you guys, rooting for you. I'll see you in the next video.